hello and welcome back to my channel today let's talk about how can you search for the research papers uh, related to your research topic for your literature review because in the beginning of your research whenever you want to just start up with your research you need some of the uh, research papers that you must read to just uh, build up uh, your research background and if your supervisor asks you to write a literature review so probably you need some of the existing literature work based on that you can write a literature paper that sometimes we call as a review paper right you just review the previous work based on that you can write either systematic uh, review paper you can just write out the long review right uh, and we and we have different kinds of review papers so in this video I will show you how can you just search for the literature paper related to your topic so make sure whenever you research any topic right so your title contains certain keywords right probably it contains uh, two keywords or normally it contains three keywords right so first you need to just understand those keywords right what are your main keywords based on that your research lies so once you uh, once you pick those keywords and after that uh, it's really easy to navigate for the papers ra rather than to navigate for the papers when you just put your whole title so let me show you how uh, whenever you just need the research paper normally we are using some of the databases from here we can get the data like you are having the Google score, you are having the Science Direct, they are having the Scopus, right? Uh, but to be honest, uh, whenever I just write any of the review paper, I normally use the Scopus, right? Because it contains some of the, uh, normally the Scopus uh, contains Scopus Index paper, which are high quality compared to the Google Scholar, right? So that's what exactly I'm using uh, this approach to just collect the paper, right? So. Uh, either you can just go for the Google Scholar, right? The first thing you can do is just what you need to do. Uh, suppose you just collect two keywords from your title. Then what you need to do just code that keywords. Suppose my one is the hybrid Photoshop and space. The second key one is cost. I'm looking for the papers related to these keywords, right? So now the list of the papers it will must contains the habit for shop cures and the cost right normally what you need to do you need to just look for the paper right you need to just click any paper open a paper right but normally this will must contain the keywords that you just quoted down right it will obviously contains those keywords let me open this paper and the first thing you need to do is just to read out the abstract of the paper right because abstract is just the summary of the whole paper which tells you exactly this work is related to you or not right so see this contains the hybrid flow shop and somewhere you will see the cost right if you see in the objective function over here we are having the cost as the optimization objective because if you see how flow shop scheduling considering machine electricity consumption cost this paper only consider but still there is cost considerations and the hammer for shop scheduling environment right so this is how you can either uh, look for all the papers right if I just uh, back you can either select the range suppose I need papers from 2010 to 2022 I'll hit enter and now you will only get 4400 right the more you just narrow down your uh, suppose let me just uh, narrow down the space and now I'm getting only this much paper, right? But you must look for the uh, papers, all the papers. What you are seeing right now, it must contain the habit for sharp term and the cost uh, quoted term, right? So you need to look, you need to look for the abstract. Just look whether the work is related to you or not, right? If it is, just download the paper and you can just embed that paper into your literature review. The second way is just to go for the Scopus database. What I can do, I will just copy the same and I will just paste it up here. And when I search over here, right now I'm getting 107 documents, right? You can just apply the filters 2010 to 2022. I'll just go for this. And right after this, what I can do, 
If you see over here, the number of paper got decreased. It comes to 85. But still, you need to look. And if you see, you can just look for the cited by highest paper, right? Because related to these terms, what what is the which 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 paper is cited highly, right? So if you open this paper, you can see. And let me just open this paper. Again, you need to read the abstract like what I did over here because the same paper it will just open up here. See, this is the same paper which I got from the Google Scholar because Google Scholar will show you those paper on top which are highly cited. So now, uh, right after this, what you can do, you need to look for the papers which is related to you but normally this time these keywords you will find out in the articles, abstract or either in the keywords. If you just want to look for the keywords only to be in the title, you can just article title and search for. So now I'm getting only a documents, right? But normally we keep the abstract and the articles and the keywords because these are the main uh, sections of the research papers, right? Which reflects the work. I still I'm getting 85 documents you can again apply some of the uh, if I click over here I'll exclude the Chinese uh, language papers which has been published in Chinese language now I'm getting 78 right so you need to just go for the paper sometimes you you, you are not supposed to be accessible to each to some of the papers right you can just suppose uh, any paper uh, let me just increase the results of the peptide. Then, uh, okay, any paper, suppose sometimes you click up on that and that is close access. What you need to do, you need to just copy the link and go for the CSI hub. You can just pass that link and you can just get your paper. So this is how you can just, uh, Look for the research papers related to your research work. Thanks for watching and make sure if this uh, video helped you, make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Thank you.